two Ronan Kazi, Destiny 2 footage. We're doing some hard stuff today. So why should you do hard content or why should you consider it? Why should you do anything hard in your life? Why shouldn't you just sit in your bed and just lay there and do nothing? <laughs> when you go to this extremes of any argument, we're first off, we're doing a European EDZ, European Defense Zone. We're doing a master level strike, not strike, nightmare, night strike, night terror, whatever it is, we're doing the master. We're not doing the, the highest level. We're one above legendary. Uh, I think you have to have 1830 or 1840 to do this. Uh, our guild clan leader, Sloth, is like 1830. I'd say the deputy of the clan, Ultimate, is like 1820 and I'm 1805 or something like that. I'm the, I'm the weakest link, which I normally am the weakest link in a lot of these games. And those two are fantastic. Uh, if you want to see some good content, if you want to learn about the game, the details of the game, please visit Ultimate Shield's channel. It's absolutely fantastic. He deep dives topics. He also has some interesting things, uh, his views on life, and I share a lot of those views. Uh, they're just general ways to live, and I think they're good. But why are we doing this harder content? And we talked a little about it in the game, what we thought, some reasons why, and that. And we're probably, I don't know, we're like three or four different zones in here. So this is kind of like the middle of this, uh, this mission. Start on an outside, kind of like a landing area. And you secure that, and you jump to another area, secure that. There's a big fight. You're unleashing these... Uh, companions or people are going to be on your side and at this point we're going to fight probably like the first decent sized boss in here one of those grim reaper guys i think and we've done this before and the last time we did it together uh it was hard as heck so <laughs> when we started doing it, i was like how are we going to do this but we're doing this content because we want to test ourselves we want to see how far we can go. And there's nothing wrong with not wanting to do that, not wanting to test yourself, uh, just enjoying a nice, relaxing game of Angry Birds. Uh, let the birds be angry. You don't have to be angry. <clears throat> but what a lot of people do is they have hobbies. <clears throat> and this may be a difference between personality types. Some people are, there's me, I can't keep that off my screen. Some people are competitive and want to measure themselves. Maybe it's not competitive with other people. They want to see how they're doing. When I look at numbers, <clears throat> excuse me, when I look at numbers like kills and time to kill and all that other stuff, uh, that's just a way to tell if you're progressing. How do you know if you're growing? Uh, when you're a child, <clears throat> excuse me, gosh, <laughs> what they used to do is mark how tall you were on like the door frame. And so you'd have all these years where they'd have marks where you're growing. It's just a way to do that. One of the reasons we have these causal things, that's kind of what time is, right? Imagine you had no causal, you had no causation, no this happened and this happened. You wouldn't really have a time that's amorphous. I'm sure there's uh, situations where you've sat somewhere and you've lost, quote unquote, all track of time because you're not comparing it. So this is something we do. We get molded into doing that. We get uh, socialized into doing this and different cultures have different perspectives of time but as human beings we all kind of share some of the same physicality okay time out on that number one when you're the weakest person you got to do healing so i put down my healing rift all the time and then you got not boss duty which means you're checking the flanks and you're checking in the rear 
And you're going to see where I failed. So the people that are the heavy hitters are pointed that way. What way should I be pointed? I'm going to tell you what. It's not that way. And why, you might say. Well, three, two, one. Surprise. Bow wow. Surprise. Bow wow. And that's what's going to happen. Oh, crap. And I have a perfect build for this. A sword and my partners get smoked because I'm not taking care of my part of the duty. And we wipe. And I'm about half the kills. This is a way for me to measure where I'm at in the group. Am I contributing? What am I doing? Can I kill something? What do I need to do in my activities when I'm not in the group? I'm in a family. Well, I just don't have to contribute to the family. I don't have to take out the trash. Every person in the family has to contribute in some way. When I go to work and we'd have potluck sometimes, I'd say, I'm bringing my appetite. And that's just cringy douche. <laughs> uh, you should contribute something. If you want to play in a game where you don't have to contribute to the cause, you probably shouldn't be in group games because people have an expectation on you. And if your expectation is, I don't have to do anything, probably not for you, Clive. So why should you do hard things? Why should you exercise? Why should you do anything? If you think about uh, any type of doctor recommendation, if you think about any type of growth, when you lift weights or you exert yourself, you get stronger. When you're dormant, you atrophy. I didn't make these rules. I'm not an elite person <laughs> that made these rules. I live by the same rules you live by. If we're in a simulation, I can't declare that I'm not in the simulation. If I'm in a game and the rules of the game are such, I have to play by those rules. Do I have to play by uh, the, the meta of the game? I don't have to play by the meta of the game. I can do whatever I want. But then I can't say, well, gee, I just want to do this. And that's part of the problem with everything. So you want to grow. You want to be better. You always want to keep moving. As you get older, this is the things with seniors that they tell them. You got to keep engaged, keep doing stuff. Well, if that's good when we're young, and that's good when we're old, when you're in the middle, that applies to you as well. So you don't have to do every single night legendary, every single night master, every single night the toughest content. You don't have to do that. But if you don't challenge yourself, you're going to find yourself in bad situations. Even, I'd submit, even if your family is independently wealthy, uh, and I would say that sometimes when you have nothing, no incentive to do anything, I don't know why I got smoked right there. That's Roxy. When you don't have an incentive to do things, uh, it, it can be detrimental to everything. So why should you do hard content? Because it's going to make you better. It's going to make you appreciate everything. It's going to help you play games better, live life better. Now, do you have to do the hard content that someone else puts in front of you? Absolutely not. Recently, I've been accused of being an elite gamer. <laughs> so I want you to see how many times I die in here. And how many, where are my kills? Uh, all I'm saying is... I should be in cover more. So what I'm trying to tell everyone is, by the way, sloth is suspending the people and that's uh, ultimate does this frost thing and he makes a Christmas tree farm, which is absolutely awesome here in a second. The point is you don't have to do what everyone tells you to do. I, I agree with that. But if you're doing common things together, if you go to a potluck and everyone expects you to bring something, I mean, that's not being a rebel. 
That's just you being a douche. You being not so good. So I may have the tag of elite gamer, but I'm not. I wish people that worked with me, I wish I worked with you because I, that is one thing. If people don't carry their weight on my team, I can't help but point it out. And I would want you to point it out on me. And look at me just taking a break right there, just being all dead. That's all the dogs. So, why should you do hard content makes better? The majority of people that stay watching this channel are those kind of people already. Just a gamer, super slanky. I had a person, at, I apologize, I forgot your name, but I mean, I can tell when you come in and post, they got burned out in division and they came back in and then they said they were doing legend. Like they're doing hard content. A lot of people are doing, there's me, don't know how to use my computer. So that this video is not really for you folks, it's for the folks that are not sure what they should be doing. They want to do harder content, but it's kind of a struggle because you started on the bottom and now we're here, I think Drake made a song about that to be cringy old guy. <laughs> giving you modern reference. And I don't think Drake's a modern reference even, so I'm an old guy even then. But consider doing harder stuff. It's part of the journey in life. There's the Christmas tree farm. Thank you, Ultimate. That was awesome. And thank you, Sloth, for helping us get here. So... Trying to make the videos a little bit shorter, more concise. This is Ronan Kazi. Thank you, too, for watching. Like, share, contribute, comment, everything. Talk to you soon. Bye.